Hey everybody, this is Preezy. Before I start today's episode, I wanted to talk about one of the topics, and it's called uh, personal hygiene. And this particular topic that we talk about, we mentioned the homeless people that's living on the streets. And after listening to this episode, I decided to go to Five Below and get 20 bags and I made like 20 toiletry bags with toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, washcloth, soap, lotion. And I handed them out to those that I knew within the area that were definitely living on the streets. Now you can't walk up to everybody now um, because you don't know their um, mental status. But these particular people, I did know that lived, they lived on the streets and, you know, they thanked me and that made me feel good. And, um, it's better to give than to receive, right? So that's what I did. And um, it's really hard to see people living on the streets because the first thing you say is uh, to yourself, why do they want to be on the street? Why don't they just go to a shelter? But it's not that easy. Some of these shelters are very dangerous. Some of these shelters are limited, um, have limited beds. Some people may have pets and they can't bring their pets. So they rather live on the streets to have their pets by their side. Some people that go to shelters may be sick, may have lice, may have bed bugs, and a lot of people do not want to take chances sleeping in a shelter. Also, you know, there are rules when it comes to a shelter, and some people don't want to follow those rules. Certain time, you got to be back. Uh, you got to do the programs. Um, that's at the shelter. So they just say, you know what, I'll stay out in the street. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone doesn't want to live in the street, but if there's limited beds, where are they going to go? And so when you see them and you see how dirty they are and this, they, they really smell bad and they, their garments are torn or their skin looks dark, they just look really filthy, you just feel so bad for them. And don't get me wrong, there are scammers out there pretending to be homeless. Shame on you if you, if they're doing that. And um, they won't be blessed. God don't like ugly and he ain't, don't like pretty either if you're doing wrong. So if those people are out there doing that, then that's terrible. But we don't know. And so if you can... Give, give back to somebody that's homeless. That would be a beautiful thing. Like if they're standing by a store and I don't give money. I'll, I'll feed you and I'll get you something to drink. But I will not give you money because I don't want that money to go to drugs or alcohol. But trust me, if they're hungry, they will take that food. And if you walk into a store, and I know that everybody's trying to save, and it's so hard today, everything is going up, but if you can give somebody a bottle of water or a sandwich or a cookie, anything, um, I'm pretty sure they would appreciate it. Um, Because, you know, I don't think anybody woke up and said, hey, guess what, I want to be homeless today. Something went wrong. Um, down the line and we don't know where we may be weeks months years from now we got to pray on it and sometimes you think you have it bad and somebody always has it worse so if you can give back um you'll be truly blessed god sees all and also i'm going to be doing an episode on mental health i'm going to be doing an episode on, on homeless people and charities that we can give to help You know, a dollar is something. A dollar is something. So I can't wait to do those episodes. It'll be weeks from now, but I can't wait. And so to end this, let's try to give back as much as we can, if we can. And um, it's better to give than to receive. Thank you. Welcome to Listen Up, Listen In Podcast. I'm your host, Preezy, and I'm so happy that you tune in to this podcast. Before I get started, all praises to Jehovah God and Jesus Christ every day. Amen. And I'm hoping that you're having a wonderful day. And if you're not, 
pray on it. Woosa, this too shall pass. I got a special show for you today. And I got a couple of guests with me. And we are going to be discussing some serious topics. Serious topics. So get ready for Listen Up, Listen In Podcast. Are you ready? Listen up, listen in. 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 Thanks for tuning in. Let's have a conversation. Talking worldwide, it don't matter your location. What you going through in the topic may have relation. Let's get some motivation. Let's swap out education. Every Friday we heal, laugh, improve, and grow. Put some nutrients in your mind, give you food for the soul. I know you pumped and prepared for your weekend and low. Might as well join the discussion and tune into the show. Listen up, listen in. 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 So much for tuning in to Listen Up, Listen In podcast. I'm your host, Preezy. Now, before I start today's episode, I would love for you guys and gals to follow me on social media. Go to Instagram, Listen Up, Listen In 5687, and on Facebook, Listen Up, Listen In. You can also email me at Listen Up, Listen In 5687 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, by following me on social media, you'll be able to see all platforms my podcast is on wherever you consume my podcast hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when a new episode is posted rate review and share this podcast now let's get back to listen up listen in Listen up, listen in podcast. I have my special co-host guest. I'm going to let them introduce themselves and then I'm going to tell you the topics that we are going to be discussing today. So get it, y'all. Just go. Just go. You got Sea Dog in the house. Ooh. Hey, y'all. It's Giggles. <laughs> you got Traffic. Hey. How you doing? All right. What's going on, everybody? Okay. So... These topics that we're going to be talking about, I'm telling you, these are serious topics. And we're going to make some fun of it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. And how do we start off? Okay. Let's say, should we do like an office? Friends? Yeah. All right. You're in an office. And, you know, you're working with a few people. And that one employee has a hygiene situation. How do you tell someone their personal hygiene is bad? Now, we're going to start off with someone that you just work with. You just say hi and bye. Opposed to somebody who you're really cool with. So let's start off with that one employee. Very nice person. They come in. They dress nice. But when they come in, the room is lit. <laughs> See, being... In the, in the office workplace and for me as a manager, you know, everybody comes from different ethnics, eth- different backgrounds. And, you know, we have certain people who practice religions where, you know, they don't use fragrances or they don't believe in using a certain type of soap where they use scented free or, you know, unscented products where, you know, it doesn't give off a certain order. Or, you know, people who don't shower regularly, it's just a broad and topic to discuss when it comes down to personal hygiene. However, I do think personal hygiene is very important, especially in today's society. And also, you know, with the inclements of weather, it's hot, you know, the commuting by train or, or bus or by ferry, even traveling on an airplane, like people being in enclosed spaces or even being in the workplace and being in a small office, it definitely does and can affect other people. However, you know, being a manager, I would personally just, you know, pull them to the side and speak to them and just advise them, you know, I noticed that, you know, you have a certain body odor. Is there anything, 
you know, I can provide to you, whether if it's deodorant or a certain body spray, you know, it's just to prevent a, a hostile work environment. Right. Yeah, I agree with you. Cause you, you can't you just- You don't want to hurt their feelings. Yeah, cause yeah. you can't just go on, yo, Leroy, hey, how you doing? You smell like butt. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't. Right. I'm Giggles, good. what do you think? <laughs> Because it's wrong. You don't want to hurt nobody's feelings because you don't know people's situations. Um, yeah, I, I it's would embarrassing. Them, I would offer them like some, you know, soap or something like that. How, so that's how you I approach would them? Like, I would have to pull them to the right, side. Right. If it's like a co-worker I really don't speak to, it's a regular, hey, how you doing? Okay, get home safe type of thing. I would just have to like, you know, see dog said, pull them to the side. You know, if there's anything I can do, maybe they don't have money. Right. You know, the products or something like that. They could be in a financial situation. I'll help them out. That way nobody starts teasing them or nobody else. So you talk privately. Right, you talk privately. talk privately with them. Nobody has to know what we speak about. Find a quiet place to talk to them. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do that. Not a... Yeah, because you never know what people are going through. And, you know, some people honestly, you know, rushing out for work, they can honestly forget to put on deodorant. It happens Mm -hmm. to the most of us. But... You know, it's Did more it so looking out for the other people. How often does it happen to you? It doesn't happen to me. I get up at very early 6.30 to be there by 9. Okay. But most definitely, you know, it happens to the best of us. So sometimes we'll put on deodorant or we'll put on a body spray. And, you know, if it's really hot, you know, it goes away. You it know, does, right? sometimes people don't even put on enough. Right. So, you know, mm-hmm. you just never know what the situation can actually be. Right. That's true. Like, That's true. All the answers, so I agree with both of you. You know. <laughs> yeah, it, it it is a little awkward. It is. Um, to try to tell somebody that um, you don't want to hurt their feelings. You want to be as gentle as possible. Of course, I would have to think about it. Like, what if it was me? I would want someone to pull me to the side and tell me privately, other than just letting me walk around and everyone just right. smell what I got to offer. You know. Cause what if it's a medical condition? Yeah. True. You know, you don't, you don't, we don't know. It could be a medical condition. We don't know what it could be. So. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. He agrees. I think, I think Judith agrees. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the smell is true. Oh. You know what, this is not good. Wait. <laughs> really, guys? Come on, stop. So what happens now? I know. Okay. All right. Um, what if it's your boss? Same thing. <clears throat> See, you got some supervisors who, I would say they're over the edge. They, they, they take personal matters and make them into a business matter where it doesn't coincide. So, you know, even telling your supervisor, it's, you know, it's. It's a it's an open playing field. You got some supervisors who are willing to accept it. Some supervisors might feel that you know they're being disrespected mm-hmm. in a way where you know they'll feel like oh you know this is harassment or you know right. why are you telling me this or you know why are you finding a reason to come for me you know it's it's a number of things too but you know you got to pick your battles on on certain occasions because it, it's very rare I'll honestly go up to everybody and tell them listen you know. This is what I noticed, and this is what's going on. Because not everybody can take it the same way how the last person might take it. True. Yeah. I'm looking it up go a different way. Why I I looked up Wiki How is on on um I googled it, and it says tell your boss about the issue. If after telling someone at work they smell bad, they do not take reasonable and appropriate steps to freshen up, you should report the issue to a workplace super, superior. With luck. They will have more success than you did in correcting the co-worker's stench. Apply pressure if necessary. If you're in a management position, Chris, and the person at work who smells bad is competitive. Competitive? Combative? Mm-hmm. Competitive. Yeah, competitive. You have it correct. See what I'm saying? Or <laughs> disagrees with you, insists that they must come to work smelling fresh. Remind them that stinky workers... Reflect badly on the business and that falling and that failing to correct their foul order could hurt their relationships with their co-workers. Say, for instance, 
We have a company policy that requires all workers to be fresh and clean at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say that's not a question for, you know, or, or a, a issue that a manager should, you know, provide. I think that's more so for human resources. Why? Because, you know, they're trained in that specific area dealing with, you know, hostile work environments or even dealing with um, people who are not in their best of ways or best of days. However, you know, human resources has that training to be able to speak to someone to let them know. And they can go for company policy if it is company policy because most employee handbooks do say you got to be fresh and groomed. Yeah, right. that's yeah. for sure. They really do, yeah. got to be clean. True. Okay. Um, what if you, it's your religion? Well, that's kind of Orthodox odd. Jews are forbidden from doing anything that's considered work, even using deodorant so what if it's a religious thing if it's a religious thing you know technically by law there's nothing that anybody can really do you know that's why i said when you go back to you know finding out what it is about the person you know whether if it's religion whether if it's something that they follow you know or even political views some political views have those ways where they don't you know shower or they don't use certain products and stuff like that so it really just depends on the person. There's not much we can do on a, on a regular religious standpoint, especially if that's something that they practice. Now, you know, also body odor can also be from diet. Yeah. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Really? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even skin conditions, people with eczema, some people, you know, have a much stronger body odor than those who even just have little to no symptoms. Mm-hmm. So you really can't, you really can't say anything to people if it's a culture. Right, no, you have to, those people, you have to leave them alone. I mean, it's their culture. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't hurt to ask them, you know, to still be that good, genuine person to let them know. But if they tell you, well, this is a part of my religion, that's something that has to be respected. There's nothing else that can go any further, especially in a workplace. And if it's somebody I really don't have to be around 24-7. But like, I mean, what if it's own, what if right. it's so bad? Do you think it's rude if they in the area and then you pull out for breeze or some light saw and you spray? Behind I don't them? think you should do it like while they're in the area because they will take it as a sign of disrespect. I'd rather you wait until they clear the room and then do it. If you can't take it, if it's really that bad, or so just yeah. walk out if you can until yeah. they, you know you don't want them to feel a certain type of way. Because that happened with us when we went to the sneaker store. Yes, and we're not gonna say who it was, but a particular male walked in and he lit that store up. And I walked out. I mean, that store was, it, the smell it was, was bad. bad. So you I forgot what sneaker you came in looking for. Mm-hmm. You had sandals on your mind. You wasn't even thinking about sneakers. No <laughs> he was more. on something, you know, can I help you? Yes. No, no, thank you. Have it a great day. I was, I'm, when I tell you it was bad, and I'm not trying to exaggerate, it was bad. It was bad too. Giggles was like, I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what is the pro? Oh. Yeah. It was like, it came in like a cloud. Oh my God. It, I'm telling you, the smell. Mm-hmm. All right, perfect example. Y'all watch the Ten Commandments? Mm-hmm. Remember the last plague when Jehovah sent through Egypt that green thing to kill each firstborn? Yes. Yes. I believe we remember it. That's exactly how it was because it was like a fog. Came in the store and it hit everybody. I, I, yo, I, everybody became cockeyed. Like, I, 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 what in God's green earth? It was that bad to the point where people was like, "I'm gonna come back tomorrow." Bro. And you know, some, it was yes, bad. It was really bad. And, and the crazy thing about it is, it's mental too because right. some people will shower and they don't smell themselves, but other people will smell. Right mm-hmm. now. You know, again, it goes back to, you know, personal hygiene coming from your diet, coming from whatever milk conditions you have, down to, you know, the religious, you know, beliefs. And, you know, when it comes down to being mental, some people genuinely don't smell themselves. They think that the odor that they have on them is their natural body odor. Mm -hmm. They won't think, okay, you know, just like a person who, who cleans their laundry with Tide. 
Mm-hmm. They look for that smell because that's naturally the body odor that they would present to have when they leave the house. Mm-hmm. So if it's a different, if you're using game one day and, you know, you smell yourself, you're like, this is different. Right. So, you know, right. it, it's a mental thing, too. Some people genuinely don't realize that, you know, their personal hygiene is not, you know, where it's supposed to be. And then it's also about opinion. Some people who wear perfumes, like 40 perfumes galore to oh, go to wow. work. But a person who has a natural body odor would think a person stinks. And that's not genuinely what it is. It's just that you have a different fragrance or fragrance that you put on yourself. Mm-hmm. So that's you'll look for right. something of that smell. And the minute you smell something odd about it, that doesn't mean necessarily the person stinks. It just means that that's just not the body odor that you are naturally either used to or being around. Right, mm-hmm. because I could put on perfume and it'll smell different on me than it'll smell on giggles. Everybody Correct. has their own, their own unique scent. Right. Unique mm-hmm. scent. Because everybody, if somebody can go to Coach and buy the same Coach cologne as me or Tropic, and it will smell different on both of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Depending on, and we might use the same soap. It just, you know, it just depends. Right. So it's more so about, you know, public perception and opinion as well. My thing is, what if <laughs> you're dealing with someone and they have an odor? Like, you're going out with them. You're hanging out with them on the it, first we're, we're, date. Like it's, on a significant say, other? Yeah. Like, the, let's say the first day you meet somebody and you're going out. You really like this person. But they, they have a odor. Being with someone, you know, you're going to come across all different types of people. And it's not about the judging more so aspect. It's what you can contribute. Yeah. At the end of the day, you may come across someone who's in a shelter who may not have the financial resources that you might have, but, you know, you might help them in some sort of way to get their foot up. Okay. Sorry. I was, I was thinking about something. Okay. You right. You right. And, and, and we don't know people's lifestyles, like, you know, what people go through. We have to be very sympathetic. You, do you know, some people don't know how to wash properly. That is true. Yeah. yeah. That is some true. People, I'm telling That's you. Very true. And that, to me, that is learned behavior as a child, teaching a child how to wash properly and wash their parts. You have grown people that do not know how to wash properly. That sometimes comes they, from being spoiled, too, because you have parents out here who still be washing their kid when they should be in a shower, taking their own shower. Right. And then they grow up just not even knowing how to wash it, just let them just water. What about people like, that don't use washcloths? You have some people that just use soap. soap and just clean I think it's important soap. that you use washcloth. But I'm telling you, there are people, nobody is born knowing how to wash your body. So you will learn. How to wash your body as you get older. If you taking a shower now, to me there's a rule. I have this seventy five fifty rule. I have a whole routine. Now my thing is, you wash your parts. It might be excessive, but this is me. You, as a woman, you wash your front and everything, and you wash your front. I think that you should clean it, stroke it seventy five times, and then behind fifty, and you should do a test. You should, and, and I hope I'm not being disrespectful, but I want to make sure I smell good. I think that you should do the butt test. Well, like you... You yeah. take it? Yeah, and you, t- you touch yourself back there and you smell it. And if you still have but a smell, smell, you're not fully clean. So continue to then lather the rag up right. again and get back there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you got to remember, all day, you know, our body goes through changes in... Juices are flowing through our bodies. Especially with us females. We go through our time of right. the month. We go through all the stuff. Like that. Right. So That's I, just like washing you, your hands for 30 seconds. That's right. the recommended mm-hmm. by the CDC. Right. You, we have pores on our bodies. That they release. So I yeah. think you're going to, you know, as in some part of the day, your, your body is going to have some type of odor. But if you going into that shower and you still coming out not fresh, then you are really not properly washing. It also depends on the temperature of the water, too. I've seen something where if you bathe in cold water, warm water, hot water, each of them has this own different effect on your body. Yeah, but are the, are you lathering up soap? Are you just standing in the water? Yeah, that rag should be full of soap. 
And you need to at least, you don't have to be in the shower 20 minutes, 30 minutes. A great shower can take between 10 to 15 minutes. It really mm -hmm. shouldn't take mm -hmm. that long. Because no. once you lather that rag and you start here and you're going down and you're doing everything, you're doing it again, doing it again, then you rinse off and you go back one more time, test yourself. Right. Yeah. And then you go, okay, I'm good. But if you the type of person that's like boom, 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 and you hitting it and you ain't really hitting it right, of course you're going to smell when it's hot outside, you're sweating. Exactly. So now really that good. smell that you did not remove just build up into a volcano. Mm -hmm. Until that explodes. No, I, I do the same thing. Because remember how you said that, um, I don't know if it was you that said it, but just like everybody got like their own unique fragrance. Like, see me, I like to call myself tropical. I like to smell tropical, sweet. You know, I like to... Right. He's like the... Manly type of stuff. I like to smell sweet. Right. Like, I always like to do that. So that's why I always got to either wash twice, do the test, and then, you know, do a scrub. Stuff right. Like that. I right. have to make sure I come out the shower smelling good. Because right. me personally, it makes me cringe. You know, I right. can't, I can't deal with it on myself. Right. And I would not, you know, you, you, we all had to learn how to wash properly. It's like I said, it's not an overnight thing. Because when we were little, we didn't even want to take showers. We didn't really want to take, I don't want to take a shower. You see kids, I don't want to take a bath. But as you got older, you'd be like, I, something, yeah, that's mommy, what I, do. I got a yeah. shower. You know, so mm -hmm. now you learn, as you get older, you're learning how to wash yourself properly. You're cleaning, you're scrubbing your toes, you're scrubbing inside your nails and stuff. So everything is learned behavior. Mm -hmm. But like I said, if you weren't taught that way, or let's just say it could be mental, Mental people do not wash. Like, if they're really mental, they don't know that they're smelling. And if they're smelling, they don't care. So, we got to look at all those factors. Because I know when I walk down the street and I see homeless people, and I just look at them like how dirty and filthy they are, how they would probably love to take a shower. But then, where I used to work at, we had to bribe the women that were meant to, to take a shower. They would not get in the shower. You had to give them sugar, cereals, just to take a shower. So they were so, in their minds, they was like, I don't stink. You stink. So it was a mental thing. So that's what I'm saying. We have to be careful of how we approach people when they do have a smell. Now, if it's me and you, like y'all my peoples, I'll be like, mm. Mm -mm. Grab that. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Yeah. The open. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, somebody again. But <laughs> <laughs> that's us. We fit. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's different. But I still don't think that I would come up to you and say, oh, you stink. I, I, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I might say, listen, um, I went shopping. I got a whole box of Tic Tac. Just take about two. I you two of them? No, no. Two packs. Things. Oh, I might just get the deodorant and just go, mm -mm, let me see. Ch -ch -ch. But we cool like that. Yeah. Right, But yeah. to do it to a co-worker, I don't know if I would actually do that. At first, I said, leave a note. Leave a note somewhere. Hey. Make it anonymous. Like, yeah. right, hey, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I just want to let you know. Um, I don't know. I've never been in that situation before. Me either. Um, yeah, I don't I'll be scared to leave it out because, like, yeah. what somebody else? Because then they can bring honest, a note and then they just go, who wrote this note? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they, I might, don't know. They, they might feel like it's a hostile work environment again. But How so, about if you stuck it in a locker? That's if a locker hey, is a, if I'm, a locker not, is I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, See, it's, but. It's like telling a coworker. It's like telling. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. You don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. You really don't. But, like, again, like telling a coworker is like telling somebody on public transit getting on a two train. And somebody got their arm up and, you know, it's lighting up the... the, the nah, people in New York were like, great day in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Somebody stop the if train. I'm in that situation, Press I take the train too much. Nah. If somebody New comes York on is, train, New York is, in front of me, I'm not my making it to gosh. the <laughs> Yeah, right. Y'all over <laughs> here. Who is smelling? Not New Yorkers. It's not going to happen on Are the train. Are you kidding me? New Yorkers is going to keep it real. Somebody in here stink. They go... Mm -hmm. They keeping it real. They not hot. Ooh, mister. Ooh, let me get up. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, he didn't just come over here and sit next to me smelling like that. Smelling like mud. Y'all remember, nah. uh, remember the, <laughs> it was a video on Facebook and YouTube of a Trinidadian woman. It was, uh, I believe it was a homeless guy, a guy just regularly on the train. Right. And 
she was like, sit, sit up, set to yourself and put this on. And she threw him the the dove body spray. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> she was just that. But that was, I mean, that was, that was nice. She did that. But she gave a, him the spread, but did she embarrass him? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, embarrass him? Yeah, it was the way she said it. Like, uh, you know, it could have been like, yeah, I think you need to take this and put this on because I, I smell you. Some people, you got some people on mass transit who do that. And then you right. got people who genuinely just mind their business. Which is, right. you know, and I get it because you never know who you could be walking up to and speaking, exactly. speaking nah, to about. Nah, they mentally mm-hmm. ill. And, nah. and, and you never know. Too much going on today. But be honest, yeah. have you ever smelled somebody... Yes. That was meant to... It's bad. Yeah. It's really bad. I feel I feel really bad, especially when I when I see all of them, but when I see women, because I know what women we go through mm-hmm. monthly, and, yeah. and, and uh, it's bad. I be feeling so bad. Like, I wish there were... Actually, you know, I wish they had something in New York City where... It was if they can build all these different things, I think they can be, build portable showers. Why y'all can't have stuff like that for them to just go in, clean themselves real quick, and leave out? Planet Fitness actually offered that at one point in time to let them come in and use their public showers. Wow! But it, then with the COVID and stuff, and then all yeah, this they thing, they put and a then stop the to mental it. illness of them attacking and stuff like that is a lot of sick people. So, but it's sad. I'm telling it you, is. when you see them, it they. They're filthy. Like, their their skin is so dark. But you be saying, is that dirt? So, it, it's bad. So, we really got to be careful. But, no, I'm saying now, let's... Um, and before we go to the next episode, somebody you talking to? How you do that? I mean, the person is nice, great job, everything. But they smell. I mean, same thing. I same just feel thing, like yeah. you would just be honest with that person. Especially if that's... Because if that's someone that you're trying to build a life with, I'd rather just, just be honest. Don't be rude about it, but just be honest. Because this is going to be the person that you're going to create a life with, live with. Lay do next you wanna, to, yeah. Yeah, like, do you want to... Being with someone, you have to be able to expect constructive criticism like, and judgment. Exactly, yep. That comes from, like, dealing being with family. Like, your family's going to give it to you harder than anybody you ever know. So you have to be able to expect that from your partner in all honesty. Because, you know, if your partner notices it, I wouldn't want my partner... To go out there and I know the issues that they're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Even if it's... That can like, make so, a person go out there, too. Yeah, like, that, that they they smell and yeah. they don't want to mess with them. And they don't know how to tell them. I'm pretty it's sure there's got to be incidents that's happened like that. That they partner Could be, gotta, yeah. Because, you know, if it was me, I would want to be told, to be honest. Right. Like, yeah, just tell if me. I don't smell it on myself, I wouldn't want to go outside and then have but someone it's also, else. But it's also about the accountability, too. Because you could be my significant other and I could be telling you... But you have to be able to not only hear me, but accept and make the change. True. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Just because I'm telling you something doesn't mean you're listening. Right. And just mm-hmm. because you're listening doesn't mean you're going to actually make the change to make us better. If I'm mm-hmm. your significant other, my job here is to help us build, not me, not you, us. Because mm-hmm. you're a reflection of me and I'm a reflection of you. Right. Yeah. Anybody else got anything to say about that mm-hmm. issue? What you gotta say? Okay, your feet look stink. <laughs> your feet look stink. Look I'm, how real Listen, you. I, I'm not being rude. We family. But them toes, they need a little dipping in some soap. <laughs> All right? Martin you, with Myra. You, you, cute, you cute and everything, but I don't know. So. Thank you. Mm-hmm, but them feet stink. <laughs> I keep it real. <laughs> All right, so we got that. How about. You meeting somebody? All right, what was we talking about before? Inviting someone out to eat. Who pays? Here's the scenario. All right, if I say to Christopher, "You want to go get something to eat?" Am I required to pay because I announced it? Or if I said, "Hey, let's go get something to eat," is that the same thing? I mean, that's kind of a trick question when you think about it because. Any normal person will honestly tell you right then and there if they don't have the money. So you would know who would have to pay or if you're splitting it or not. But it also depends on how you ask the question. So if you say, that, let's go get something to eat, the person will automatically say, well, I don't have no money. If you got it, you got right. it. If you don't, right, right. Okay, that's go. what's up. There I like go. that. Yep. Trap it. Yeah. Also, it depends on the environment, too. Because you, you wouldn't. Environment. Every time no, because in reality, the environment always matters because... 
Just because I say, you're my coworker, let's go get something to eat. It's not the same as saying, let's go get something to eat to a family member or to my significant other. Oh, right. you got to explain yeah. that. He's because, right. Now. He's right. He's because right. my coworkers, I like, and this happens on on a daily. Okay. We'll say, let's go get something to eat. We'll all go out as a group, but we're all going to go get our separate food and all pay right. separate checks. Right. Cool. Yeah. But versus saying to my significant other or, or my family, I'm like, yo, let's go get something to eat. Yes, that could mean I'll pay. That could mean we split. But or that could mean, you know, abundance of things. But the environment does matter. So in the workplace, if I say, let's go get something to eat, I'm just inviting you out to lunch together. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm offering to pay the bill. Now, if I'm offering Prezi or Giggles, if I'm offering you and say, let's, oh, let's go get something to eat, nine times out of ten, I got the tab. So, you know, it also just depends on the person itself and the environment in which, you know, you're you're offering. But also saying... Let's go get something to eat, and I'm going to take you out to eat. It's two different things, too. Mm-hmm. That's right. absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at God. Because whoever offers <laughs> needs to pay. Period. Whoever I mean, offers should pay. Whoever offers should pay. P-A-Y. In the name okay. of Jesus. Hallelujah. But it's also about being considerate, too, because, you know, going to Hook and Reel and trying to order, you know, a three-pound bag of crab oh, legs with yeah. two pounds of shrimp, not knowing what the other person's financial, you know, situation might be don't take advantage of that as well just because right. somebody's offering to pay doesn't mean you order everything on the menu and people right, be do but if i offer to pay i'm gonna be like listen if i offer to pay that mean i got it depending on the person i know how you eat if i say i'm taking you out to eat i already know <laughs> so <laughs> oh okay. you kitty <laughs> it depends on the person you offering it to right because me i'm like wait a minute where you want to go? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll ask you where you want to go because everybody don't eat everything. Right. So where you want to go? But if I say I got you, I got you. You don't need, don't worry about the money. So if you I choosing a spot it, I too? I, but, I have done that too. I right? choose a spot too. But but watch this. Here's a good reference. Everybody knows the movie White Chicks. Mm-hmm. Remember when Terry Crews told um the the girl, he was like, I perhaps a salad. She was like, huh, perhaps, perhaps not. not. <laughs> I'll have the steak, the lobster, smothered in onion. Like, and he looking at her like But he had money though. He, he was rich. She already and she already knew. She already, yeah, she already knew what it was. Right. So she did that purposely. But people do do that. If they mm-hmm. know that you got money, they will over eat unnecessarily. <laughs> I want a budget. That's crazy because he don't go for it. He knows if we go out to eat, he knows exactly what my order would be. He knows how I eat. Don't right. look at me and be like, I know you're just going to get this. How you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's another thing too. Like, you know, when you're taking someone out to eat, you know, my thing is, is know what the menu is mm-hmm. before you go out. So you know yes. what the price range is looking like. You know, offering somebody, oh, let's just go... Yeah, like we all see videos on TikTok of these great restaurants, and we'd be like, "Oh, we want to go here till we see the menu." We'd be like, uh, "I think I'll go during tax season." That's why I say I want to take you out to eat. Where you want to go? Or I say I find this nice restaurant. Do you eat this, or what do you eat? Depending on the person, because if I know the person tonight, if I really don't know them, I'll ask them. Then I'll be like, oh, "Okay, oh, okay, I got you. Let's go." Or something. I look. I want to look at the menu. I want to know if they had the gratuity in. I want to know all that. I believe in Denny's okay. two, four, six, eight dollar meal. Mm-hmm. If anybody who's been to Denny's, you get two dollars worth of unlimited pancakes. Well, I've looked up people who people also ask. It does say if you do remember is that if you do the inviting, you are responsible for getting yes paying a bill. You are. That's common. Yeah, sense. most definitely. Even though common sense is not common. Yeah. Yeah. But I say if I was to invite someone, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I already have a place set up if I know my budget. I wouldn't exactly. even let nobody choose because if you say you got it, they'll take it to a whole other extent. But okay, well, I want but, this. But you know what it's also about too? Living above your means. Because mm-hmm. on a first date, the biggest thing you, you want to show the person, okay, I got this fire personality, but I got the dough to back it up when you really don't. If you can only afford footprints, don't take them to Benihana. Exactly. Don't do You it. know, don't. Wait, Pres- footprints could be a little pricey now. You Depending on. Don't yeah, start but the food is continue. good. The food is good there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. is good. It you want to order some footprints? Mm. Mm. Your opinion. Uh, but yeah, no, it's about living above your means too. I granted you want to But first someone. impressions mean a lot. So if you take a summer, if it's your first date 
and you taking somebody out, you want to be you want it to be a nice dinner, a nice beautiful dinner. But well, don't take able. me out. Listen, okay, I'm, I'm not trying to be conceited or Tracy, but if we if a guy asks me out, hey, you want to go out to eat? Sure, I'm like I'm. I don't expect to go to McDonald's. Okay, yeah, no. I don't expect exactly. to go to Wendy's. Right. So if you you taking me out, I expect now don't I'm not the type of person you don't have to take me to no five star restaurant. You don't have to do that because most of the time you want to go someplace where it's nice and quiet where you can talk. Mm-hmm. You don't want no place where it's loud. Mm-hmm. So you want a little nice little spot. It doesn't have to some of the spots that's that those little in whole spots be, be the, the best, best spots. Yeah. Nice yeah. and quiet, little mm-hmm. candlelight, you're talking. So you don't want to be somewhere where it's loud and noisy because you're trying to communicate. Mm-hmm. But I do expect to be at a nice restaurant. Then you have the bougie ones. You know? But see, you have people who have the expectation of the date of where you're going. Exactly. Versus, I believe first impression is how you treat me, how you speak. Mm-hmm. The background in which you come from. Because, of, wait, a first date to me could be, on a, a, could be a picnic. That's fine. Exactly. Right. That's yeah. what I love stuff like that. Like, it doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not that type of person. Oh, you got to take me at a five star. Oh, I got to have this. You need are. to be That's popping bottles. Like, right. That is yeah. not me. Right. We could go to the Highland Park and have a nice picnic. That's mm-hmm. I like stuff like that. But Some don't take me things, to Willie like, Earl's Shook and Shack and his <laughs> uncle. Yo, my uncle work here. He going to hook us up. And then, 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 then. You want some you fish and chips? <laughs> what is this? The hey, baby, what you want to drink? No, nah, don't take me to those. Maybe later on in line, we can have fun like that. But the first day, is, your first impression means a lot. So you want to take some, you know, you want to be creative. You know? Yeah, most definitely. No, I, I just look at it like that. I mean, it could be... If that person is very creative, you can go right to Shirley Chisholm Park and have there something you so nice. You bottle mm-hmm. water. People just got to know how to do things. You could be having something really cute and sit out there and just chit chat because you're getting to know the person. Yeah. Well, wait, it's a lot of things going on in the world today. Don't bring me nowhere about no water. <laughs> uh-uh. She was here. I know. <laughs> he came back to the car. Where's the, where's the woman? No, no, no. No, 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 no. None of that. That's like maybe later on. But first day, no. Because you getting, you got to be, first of all, I believe you come in your car and I come in mine. Exactly. Ain't going to be picking me up. Don't come no. to my house. No, no, no. Because I don't know. I don't know you. I'll let you yes. know when I get home. And you know, it's so funny. I, and I'm going to say both women and men have that expectation too. Because, right. you know. Some women and men expect to be picked up at their door. You open their car door. Uh, no, I'll see you at King's Plaza on the Popeye's side. We're going to go on the BBQs Popeyes. right here. Oh, really? No, no, you got the BBQs right next to uh-huh. the Popeye's. No, but... Chivalry is definitely dead. I don't... Do people still open doors for people? I mean, yeah, I've had some, it done to I've, me. Yeah, I've, know, I've, I've done it before. The door and I'm shocked. Like, oh, wow, still people do still do this? Open the door. But see, the first impression... It's then moving. you got to do the Bronx tail thing, and then you got to lean over and open the door for them. You yeah. know, let them look like, yes! <laughs> but even with first thing, yo, I'm even, telling you. Even with first impressions, it's not even about the first impression. It's if, can you, when you present yourself with that first impression, can you keep up that exactly. standard that you Thank presented you. to me at Yo, first? it's all a game, because that's how they get you. It's like they throw the, the fishing rod in the water. That's why, me personally, and I shouldn't be telling these secrets, ah, do not sit up there and tell a person what you're looking for, because that person is going to be that person that yep, you're they looking gonna for. They're yep. they going to do whatever. Yep. Oh, you like somebody to do this to bring flowers? You do that? Blah, like, blah, what kind of man you up. like? What you a looking man. at? Well, and then they're going to do that until they get you. Yep. And then the real them comes out. So, nah, I'm just... Like I want to see I want to see how Steve you are. Steve Harvey's yep. actually, actual book, because they did, they did do the movie, but his actual book, Think Like a Man... He does say in the book, a, a man will do whatever it takes until he feels like he doesn't have to try anymore. Right. Once he feels like he's content, he already got you, you're going to settle for whatever he has to give. Mm. Not keeping up the standard. You could pull up in the bins, you might have rented from Zipcar, and then I'm finding out you have a 2002 Honda Civic 2 door where the front side of the door 
on the left side has a black door and the car is white. But if you're materialistic, it's it's not it's not good anyway. <coughs> it's really not good. No. I don't know. If somebody asks you what you like, whatever you like. Yes. <laughs> whatever you like. That's why I always present myself as I am because right. there you go. I like to be comfortable and I'd rather someone want, would want to be with me as me. You right. know what I mean? I don't want to Pick a funk, because right. then I'm not being truthful, not only to that person, but not to myself. Right. So I'd rather present myself as me. Right. And people mm-hmm. not telling the truth. They're not. You know, they they're not. They put this whole facade, like, right. like I'm not going to find out, because right. I can go like this. Bye. You're, you're not telling no the problem. truth of who you are and, mm-hmm. you know, your finances and stuff like that. And believe it or not, that's very important. And not that you're looking for that, but don't fake the funk. Like, be who you are. Don't lie. Just be who you are. Because, you know, let the person learn you. Don't put on this front. That's why I just don't believe that you should put all your cards on the table. Like, communicate and let's get to know each other. Because if you tell, well, just, I want him to bring me flowers and I want him to do this. That's what you're going to do. Chocolates and I want this and that and that and that. And I want this and that and that. (laughs) They're going to do it because they're trying to get you. They'll do whatever possible. Right. And that's vice versa. It's not just... Men to women, women to men too, you know, because brothers want you to do for them as well. They want, well, I'm pretty sure brothers like nice things and thing. they may not say it, but I'm pretty sure they like sentimental things. It's just hard to figure out what they want because men don't like to really talk. You got to uh, get it out. Yeah. But you know, it's also a stereotype too. You have women who, inf- who will invite men out on a date. And still expect the man to pay. I think that's wrong. And that's so bad. No, nah, I think yeah. that's wrong. Because that's I have stuff. invited, and he was actually shocked. I was like, hey, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. You want to go for breakfast? Okay. It was a pause. He was like surprised. Like, you, huh? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You paying? Yeah, what? Yes, like, because he was like, I'm not used to that. Mm-hmm. I'm not used to that. I was like, oh, come on. we This is 2022. It's all about a man's ego, too, because a man will also feel like, I want to be a provider. Like, even though you got it, I still want to do it. If a man extends that invite, even though you offer, then, you know, that's something for you two both to discuss, and then y'all come up to an equal agreement. But... A woman inviting a man out on a date and expecting him to be like, so, uh, yeah, you got the tab? That's just not... Uh, to me, it wasn't a date. I was just, you hungry? You want something to eat? Let's go get something to eat. I didn't take it as a date. But see, everybody perceives different. Right. You need to establish what it is. Like, if you're inviting me out to eat and we're talking, I'm going to... A person will naturally perceive, okay, this is a date. Right. Everybody oh, different. I, I even if it's a, it even if a it's a 3 o'clock in the morning, oh, you know, a diner day. date, uh, you day. know. I know a couple 24 hour diners. Three, three in the morning. I'm Listen. sleep. No, you don't don't call me no three in the morning. I mean if we're up and you know Who's I'm, up? I'm sleep. How you hungry? Three in the morning. Your food should be Excuse digested. Me, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I mean, sometimes it happens. You just you know? asked him how he hungry? Oh. I mean I'm hungry now. <laughs> like sometimes it happens. You know, sometimes you lay there and be like, I want a snack or something. Yeah, but three in the morning, y'all I'm going to the already. diner? <laughs> what I diner mean, y'all going to? I mean, it happens. Here they come. Don't close the shop. <laughs> Pull out the but dishes. You know, so fun- you know what's so funny, though? Those sometimes be one of the best dates. If you really morning. think about it. Cause because you're sleeping. No, well, not because you're sleeping. <laughs> you ain't got much to say. Imagine, How's your day? How's your Im- day? Fun? Mm-hmm. Imagine talking to somebody and then you go out 3 o'clock in the morning to a 24-hour diner. Right. It's nothing but you two and the waiter. And the person waiting outside to rob you because you ain't got no business out yeah. there 3 in the morning. Oh, we about to get them, son. <laughs> Oh, they want to eat? We want to eat, too. Well, look at that one in the blue show. His whole table's full. I know he got dough. I got really? a blue shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't going nowhere no three in the morning. I can see if we came from a show we or something out like, or that. like that. But I'm not to gonna... wake up yeah. three in the morning? Get your life. I mean, I was already up when I went out oh. for that three o'clock in the morning. Day. I, was like, I remember I'm people going to clubs and going to the diner. Mm. Yeah, but nah, three in the morning... 
I got work in the morning. I'm sleeping. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know about that, but it, it's, I don't know. Well, okay, here, but who is snoring? Excuse me. It's my podcast. Wake up. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> um, uh-uh. <laughs> Listen, what about, <laughs> this is crazy. What about, is it cool if you're going out with a guy and he pays the bill and you pay the tip? Because I do that. Yeah, what's I do that. Yeah, this I have that. done that. Me too. I have Nothing paid the tip. With even with friends. If I'm hanging out with my girlfriends and let's say we taking turns. Yeah. It's like That's you and I. Yeah. If you, sometimes if you pay, I, I got the tip and vice versa. Right. Yeah. I think I saw you go back to the table though and pick up the money. No, that was not Wait me. a minute. I think she took the money <laughs> on the table. At, the, at this point, the way gas prices is, I think I had a wig on when I went back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Chris, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong it's, with that. I, I no. have done that. You know, let me pay the tip or stuff like that. But some people really think that that person is supposed to pay every time you go out. Wrong attitude. Mm -hmm. Find maybe yourself, yeah, maybe many, 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 many years ago. I but I think now in 2022. I've never 2022 like and the new generation is still that expectation. Right. But I firmly believe that, okay, if it's the first date and I make an initiation, cool. But every time we go out, especially if it's my significant other, either we split the bill or I do this one, you got the next one. There you go. Yep. You got this one, I got the next one. Mm -hmm. It's along, you got to have that mutual agreement. But you mm -hmm. can't do it with everybody. Yeah, Would you no. feel embarrassed if you went on the first date, Giggles, and he says, um, we're going to split the bill? No. On the first date? No, because it would be the last. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you, that, you, that, so you bothered by that? Yeah, I'll be like, oh, no problem. He like, yo, get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go out. Let's go out to hook I wheels. think the most embarrassing part and, will be. Um, I, let's go out to eat. And you get there, and he'd be like, um, we're going to split this bill. No problem. Have a good night. It was nice meeting you. So you wouldn't like it? And we, he would never see me again. Why? No. No, but you got to explain why. I mean, <laughs> why would you? Out. You're selling a fantasy. It's like, if you sitting here about to take me out You're taking eat, me out. Right. You but could, you're I telling would me. You say, I ain't say I was paying the bill. No, no, no. You said you was taking me out. Yeah. I'm perceiving I'm that's I took you is. out. We went out. Now it's time to eat. Negative K. Okay. okay. You said to I'm me. trying to fix it up. You were taking me out. Now, see, that's why I said everybody thinks different. Right. I'm perceiving in my mind when you tell me you taking me out. I got a better scenario. Hey, okay. I'm taking you out and I'm expecting something afterwards. And you like. Then we don't got to go out. No, no, no. We get to the table like, you know, you got this big old dinner. Oh, man, you got everything. And um, so what's up for later on? What's up? I'm going home. You going home. Um, We need to. We're going to split this bill. Okay. The date is over. Yeah. Because you, you know, me for that, that yeah. has happened. Yeah, People it does happen. That has happened. You're not getting People think that me. you take them out and they expect things. Mm -hmm. That has happened. Mm -hmm. It don't work like that. It don't work like that with me. Beforehand. I'm good. That you has know, I happened. Have, I have respect for myself. I have right. values. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Find another female that, that's with that because I'm not. Yes. Power to the people. Yes. Banga, 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 banga. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think that first date. But you actually have men that mm. actually think like that. I'm telling you, I spoke because to somebody. Because let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why men think like that. At the end of the day, I have no problem spoiling my significant other. But until I know that you're the one for me. Yeah. I shouldn't have to go a hundred. If I'm putting in fifty, you should put in fifty. Men think like that. If you want to do this, that's show me that you're willing to take that initiative and not just be. And you have women who say, "Oh, I want a man to spoil me, take care of me, well, take care of my kids." Him? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. This ain't one sided here because you can go. Exactly. So you right. So you just answered the question. Mm -hmm. So if a man presents to you and says to you at the table, "So you want to split this?" It's not because. Of the fact of that the, the date should be over because that's what your views are. But he could honestly pay the bill and just want to see what your reaction is. Uh -huh. To see if you're willing to make that initiative to say, all right, you know what? Let's split the bill. I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that. I'm not expecting you to spend all your hard-earned money. And this date may, may go south on my end. Uh -huh. I just wasted $150 plus two movie tickets and some gas money. Uh -huh. So, you know, it all just depends on that too. 
I you got to broaden your horizons because natural the thing the, the natural way is that a man invites a woman out on a date, picks her up from the door, drops her off to the door, opens the car door, everything on night's expenses paid. Things are different now. So, I don't you know, know, do they still do that? <laughs> to, to open the door? I mean, I personally would because I, I, I don't know. I get all my. <laughs> Personally, I think I would probably still do it because if you slam my car door, the date already ended. Oh, yeah, yes. that's, you don't do that. You don't slam oh, doors. Wow. Because some people get in the car, boom. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't they know. probably don't intentionally mean the to bus do is it. coming in 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh. You ever heard any stories that a person, guys, saying that he's gonna pay and gives the excuse he left his wallet home? Yeah. What well, would you do in a situation like that? I'm like, excuse me, y'all looking for a dishwasher? Now, I don't know. First date type situation? He he forgot his wallet? That's what he's you talking about, first date type situation? Yeah, like, oh. I'm pretty sure things have had to happen mm. like that. Or his card declined because something came out of his account oh. in the mix of offering to take you out on a date. And you had to pay for it. Would you go back out of, with no. him again? What if it was legit? Like, what if there was a problem with his card, really? And it wasn't a joke. Like, it wasn't a... Like, and he didn't know that prior to asking me to go out. Why? How do you know? Like, did, have you ever used your card and it didn't work? Like, when I went to Delaware and I tried to use my card at Walmart, mm -hmm. it wasn't taking it. That's not like, for example... Because I was in another state. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And MCU was like, well, who are you? We, we don't know. Depending who, on your bank, yeah. Right. And especially yeah. when banks go through changes. MCU is a big one. When they going through the online banking maintenance, stuff like that, and you're trying to use your card and it declines here, but you go to the gas station and it works here, you, you come across that. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I would have paid, though. So, uh, paid, well, somebody got to pay the bill. I would have paid no you can't, you can't stay at the restaurant and nobody... Not, he's sitting up there like, well, I don't have no money. I would have paid. And would you ever see him again? Depending on the situation. If, you, if he looked like, like he was suspicious, like, oh, he's lying. It depends. Or unless if I he felt... was to say that he'll send you the money in the morning when whatever the situation that was that he was going through ended. That's fine. He went back but to But if I feel like he's not... <laughs> he <laughs> he went... <laughs> he's at the airport. But it, it would depend. But I would pay regardless. Now, as far as going back out with him, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. The first impressions know. to me mean a lot. I don't know. First impression. How about you going on a date with someone? I know I got, I'm throwing all these different topics. Because these are things that really happen. Speak on it. Speak on it. Yes, my mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> if no you on a date and the person is texting? I may do the whole date. They, Excuse me. Somebody Whoever you talking to, tell them to sit here. Here's, here's my part. I'm out. Yeah. I will leave. Uh, me too. I agree. No, my I personality. Agree on we that. going on a date. I'm leaving. This is all you doing? Okay, you cool. texting all night? Yeah, no. First of all, first date or any date, I should have your full undivided attention. Exactly. Right. Unless if it's a dire emergency and you got to pick up your phone. At least understood. excuse yourself or something. Don't be like. Or, you know, you got people who go on dates and literally they'll go on the date and they're across each other on TikTok or Facebook. Huh? Both, of them. Both of them. Yeah. Both of them. On I've seen it. That's yeah. the. I think when you go on a date with somebody, them take either the phones go in the back or they go in the middle of the table. Mm hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have you, if I, if you have children and you just try to make sure they okay for whoever's watching them, stuff like that, and you sending out that message, are you making that one that's call? Different. That, that, that's, that's, that's different. That's I respect priority. people who have children. If you have, if he has a child, excuse me, I gotta go. You know, check you on my know, child, whatever, something right. like that. Yeah, that's, that's different. That's totally different. That's different. But if you constantly on that phone while we at the table, I would like whoever you're talking to, you could continue to talk to. I'm leaving. Have a good night. Boom. You should have brought them on the date. I'm leaving. Yeah, you should have just brought them. Exactly. That's rude. I think that's rude. Yeah. I know that we all sit down at the table and we do look at the phone a little bit, but, but after a while, you know. Genuine conversation. You need to stop. Like if you're waiting for the food and, you know, you're looking, you're, you're doing everything you can. Listen, blah, 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 I'm out, blah, blah, blah. But then after a while, that phone should not come out. Because it's really disrespectful to that person. It is. I agree. Do you think more people text? Of course. Than calling? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like it. 
I don't yeah. like it. If you can't pick up, because then I start feeling, well, why you can't pick up the phone? That's you know, are you somewhere that you can't talk? Mm-hmm. So are you texting? Are you with another woman or man? Right. So I really think that, but it's like everybody's texting. It seems like nobody wants, and sometimes texts mm-hmm. can be text the wrong way. Oh, yeah, you can perceive a text message of, oh, they put it in caps, they met. Or oh, you right. got people who go on dates and they literally text each other at the table. That is so... Sad day in America. What is that? And uh, coming to America? Pressing the button? <laughs> hey, baby. It's like a You joke. want them potatoes on... <laughs> at the table. You want the potatoes? <laughs> Pressing the button. <laughs> Texting. Okay, that's stupid. Yeah. yeah, you got people who do it. All right. We running out of time, so we got a little bit... Well, we got seven more minutes. Here, check this out. This is the last one. Group. Group's going out to eat. Oh. The person, you got six people at the table, and nobody asks for a, um, separate checks. And you got this one person, they ordered a $40 meal, but you ordered a salad. But yet they want you to chip in. For that total. The bill is like $250. And everybody got to split it six ways. But you only had a $10 salad. Is it fair? <laughs> it depends on your friend group. I, I, I'm personally going to say. Uh, 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 what you going to say? Because, nah, so, no, 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 seriously. Because I went on a trip. Right. And I, I personally believe, I understand everybody has a different financial situation. If it's coworkers, I'm only paying for what I paid for. Yes, right. amen. Because I, at the end of the day... If we are coworkers, you are responsible for exactly what you're responsible for. Right. Mm-hmm. Being in a friend group, you look out for me, I look out for you. Sometimes people might not genuinely have it, but want to go out with their friends. Right. And True. you got friends who are willing to say, you know what, don't worry, I, I got, got you. you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, separating, you got to separate the, you know, fantasy from reality. Us, bill comes two hundred fifty dollars a piece. I right, no problem. How much is the tip? It's just that simple. But you can't do it with, with everybody. everybody. Nah, you can't. Nope. And I think that you should have separate checks or separate separate the tables. Even though you're in a group, separate the tables. This people's right here. This people right here. You could do that. And a lot of restaurants, what are they doing? They're not doing separate checks. Yep. So you better know that before you go out. Listen, because no I know a situation it, yeah. that this person ordered a whole bunch of stuff and... They refused to, no, they ordered a whole bunch of stuff and everybody was mad because they had to literally pay for this person's food. And they didn't think it was right. Well, I only ordered this, so why am I going to kick out another $40 because she ordered this huge meal? So I think that needs to be established before, before yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to know the restaurant too because the restaurant only right. pay cash. You, right. go to, you go to people who go to Applebee's and have a problem with the bill for the two for the 22 because certain things on the menu, they charge you an extra $4 or $5 right. for. Mm-hmm. And they feel like, well, since you ordered the, you know, the eight ounce sirloin and I only got the chicken tenders and fries, you got to put in an extra $4. Right. That sounds so good. Right and I think it's, I don't know. To me, it's like if you're going out, you know the restaurant, how we doing this? Are we doing separate checks? If the, if the place do separate checks, fine, separate checks. But if it's not... Listen, if you're going out and you know you're having a good time or whatever, bring the proper amount. If you just can't make it, then don't go out. And then, because you don't want to get into a confrontation, people arguing, oh, yep. no, I only had this. Let me see the bill. 20, pull out your calculator, 22.9 <laughs> plus what? $3 or something. You don't well, want that because it looks so up. terrible mm-hmm. at the table. Everybody got their phone and they adding. Find out the restaurant add their gratuity in already. Right. If they only take cash. Right. Find out first and find out who's going. Right. And I don't like the fact that some restaurants, the, the waiter adds their gratuity. What if you was a terrible waiter? Yep. And you, right. yep. Yeah. I had that before. I told them, remove your gratuity because they weren't a good waiter. Now, I gave them a tip, but not what they should have gotten. So I don't agree to that, too. But people are not tipping. And so that's why I believe they but have what, to what, add that. No, most definitely. Which is understood. So we, uh, for example, me and Tropic went to a diner in Jersey City. And we literally sat across from each other, and I have a dining checklist. Right. A waiter's checklist. Did you come and check on me? How long did it take you to come and least take my order for the drinks? How long did it take for you to let me know if my food was going to be late? All of those things I look at, and I would sit there and say, they just lost $2 off their tip. Right. Because mm-hmm. I pay attention to that, because right. that gift tells me how great your customer service is. Right. If you're making sure, if you see 
walking past me and you see I got an empty cup of fruit punch, I'm expecting you as my waiter and I'm seeing you notice it to bring me a refill. But it's hard to be a waiter or a waitress. It's hard. That That's a tough Especially job. Most so definitely. It's a tough too. job. Yeah, it's not easy. So I got to give them kudos because that's not an easy job to be a waiter. Most, waitress. most definitely, but you can they tell the ones lot. that genuinely right. oh, make yeah. sure and that you're good. And I hit them good. off all the time. When you're a good waiter or waitress, I make sure you get a great tip. Double you, attacks. When we went to IHOP, we had a great waitress. She, yo. Instead she of us charging us. us for two different things, she said, you know what? I'm going to give you this, but I'm going to give you a side of this so that they don't charge you extra. Right, so that was she good. She looked out for us for right. real. She got a good tip out of us. Right. And then I always wonder, like, if I'm tipping her... Do they split the tip? Some restaurants do that. Like, Between everybody, they split the tip. And I'm like, why y'all doing no, that? That's that's why a lot time, do that? No, that's a lot of times. No, I think uh, that's why a lot of times I hand it to them. Like, yeah, I never leave I'm it on not, the table. I wait nah, till they come and yeah. I hand it to them. But here's a new thing. They actually tax their tips now. Wow. That's why gratuity is included. In the like, state of New Jersey, yeah. they wow. include gratuity for group for groups four or more because they tax their tip. So wow. out of $16, they may only get 12 Wow. That's why waiters prefer you tip cash right. because it's mm-hmm. tax free yeah mm. all right well we have covered so much in this episode oh my gosh i just want to thank everybody for tuning in to listen up listen in tell your family tell your friends and always remember live laugh love love you first because you can't love nobody unless you love you god bless uh all the things that you want to do. Just do it. Just be happy. I thank my guests for being here. Um, give yourself a round of applause. And we coming back. There's so much stuff to talk about. Um, just be happy, guys. And I hope you learned some, you know, I hope you learned some stuff from this episode. I'm tired. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all hear this speech all the time. Ain't nothing changed. Listen up, listen in. God bless. I love you, mommy and daddy, forever. And please tune in next Friday. I'm not going to tell you the episode, but tune in, all right? God bless. Be safe. Peace. Before I end this podcast, you know I got to always give my shout outs. Shout out to the three producers behind the music, vocals, and lyrics. JJ Cicero, Just AC, and Ty Beats. Thank you. And also a shout out to my co-host guests who are always there for me. Giggles, Sea Dog. And Tropic, thank you so, so much. I want to say to be kind to people. And it's not what you say, but how you say it. You know, I remember working at my old job and there were some kind officers that would leave soap and deodorant in the bathrooms for the other staff members. Maybe there were staff members that just didn't have these toiletries. And I want to say thank you. Just because people have jobs, we don't know their financial status. Even the homeless. You know, if there was a place for them to shower. And like I said in the beginning of my intro, a lot of them don't want to go to these shelters. And then there could be a lot of people that are really mental that just don't want to take a shower. It's it's not important to them. But overall, we have to be kind to people and not try to hurt people. Not make jokes, make fun of them because they smell. 
It could be religious reasons as to why they do not use perfumes or deodorants. So, just be kind. And sometimes it could be a cry out for help for those that may not even say anything. Maybe they don't know how to tell someone that they need these things. So, I think if you're at the workplace, maybe it's a good idea that, and and what does it cost you to go to a dollar store? Maybe to put some of these toiletry things out in the bathrooms for your co-workers. Or, if you are cool with someone and you feel comfortable to tell them, whether it's your co-worker, significant other, friend, or whatever... It's how you say it. Be safe. Always make yourself happy. Keep it clean. If you know what I mean. 7550, baby. (laughs) 7550. Try it. It works. All right. See you later. social media you'll be able to see all the platforms my podcast is on wherever you consume my podcast hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when a new episode is posted rate review and share this podcast listen up listen in listen up listen in yeah